appendages. There are 19 pairs of appendages in prone. Each segment of body bears a pair of jointed appendages. They show considerable variations depending on the functions they perform. Out of 19 pairs of appendages, 13 in cephalothorax and 6 are in abdomen. Cephalothoracic appendages further include 5 pairs of anterior cephalic appendages and 8 pairs of posterior thoracic appendages. There are 5 pairs of cephalic or head appendages. They beginning from the anterior preoral end of head are the antennules, antenna and postoral are mandibles, maxillary and maxillary. Antennules. The antennules are attached one on either side below the basis of eye stalks. The protopodite consists of three segments a large proximal precoxa, middle coxa, and distal basis. Precoxa bears a depression containing the opening of statocyst. On its dorsal side, it also bears a basal spiny lobe called stylocerite and a spiny at outer margin. Coxa is short and cylindrical. Basis is elongated and without setae. It carries two long and many jointed whip-like fillers. Antennae the antennae lie one on either side just below the antennules. The protopodite is greatly swollen due to presence of excretory organ within, which opens by a minute renal aperture on the inner margin of coxa. Basis bear a spine. Endopodite is represented by a many jointed sensory filler while exopodite is in the form of a broad and leaf-like plate, also called squama or scale. It bears setae along its margins, while the outer smooth margin bears a small spine. Squama probably serves as a balancer during swimming. Thus, the antennae are sensory, excretory, and balancing in function. Mandibles Mandibles are strong calcified bodies in pair which lying one on either side of mouth. Almost the entire mandible consists of coxa which is differentiated into a proximal triangular and hollow apophysis and a distal solid head Two processes found on head, a stout molar process bearing five to six dental plates and a plate-like incisor process ending in three teeth. Outer margin of head carries a mandibular pulp made up of three segments. The proximal segment represents the basis while two distal segments represent the endopodite. Mandibles constitute the biting jaw and are masticary. The exopodite is absent. Maxillary. These are small, thin, and leaf like appendages. Free borders of coxa and bases are covered with pointed spines and project inward as jaws endopodite form a curved process bifurcated at the apex. The exopodite is absent maxillary help in the manipulation of food. Maxillary. These are also thin and leaf-like mouth appendages. The small coxa is partially divided while the large basis forms a bifurcated gnathu base internally. Endopodite is quite small while exopodite form a large expanded fan shaped scaphognathid.